collision theory. Reactant particles must collide with each other to have a chemical reaction. They must collide with sufficient kinetic energy, greater than the activation energy, and with the correct geometry. Not all collisions between particles are successful, only those with sufficient energy and the correct geometry. So here we can see an unsuccessful collision where the reactant particles just bounce away from each other and then a successful collision where the product is formed. Now the difference there was the successful collision, they had the correct geometry between the particles and energy greater than the activation energy. So the rate of reaction depends on the frequency of collisions between reactant particles. The more frequent collisions, the more chance there is of a successful collision and a chemical reaction. The proportion of particles that have energy greater than the activation energy. So if more particles have energy than, greater than the activation energy, there will be a higher rate of reaction. And the orientation or geometry of the reactant particles. Reactant particles must collide with the correct geometry.